तो कैसे हैं आप लोग बेटा तुमसे ना हो पाएगा तुमसे 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 ना हो पाएगा हेलो एंड वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू एम एच ओर डायरेक्टर दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू इंटरव्यू समबड़ी लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस द मैन टू यू हिज नेम इज करण व्यास अगर नहीं सुना उसके बारे में तो प्लीज गूगल कर लो यार वेल ही इज द राइटर ऑफ मूवी मेड इन चाइना एंड वेरी फेमस गुजराती मूवी रॉन्ग साइड राजू एंड आई केम टू नो दैट ही इज द डायलॉग राइटर ऑफ असुर टू सीरीज एज वेल सो लेट्स वॉच द इंटरव्यू थोड़ा लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब वब्सक्राइब कर दो यार थोड़ा हमारा क्या जाता है वेलकम सर थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सावन ओके लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन द यूनिवर्स टुडे हम व्हाट इज बेटर YouTube और TikTok आई एम आई एम आई डोंट हैव TikTok uh, the only exposure i have of a TikTok is when we we had to promote made in china so we met couple of uh, people who uh, are basically so called influencers on tiktok but that's that's it uh, i still like i think youtube youtube is from my generation that's what i am going to say because that was the the beginning of the independent content creation when nobody was able to distribute their own content youtube was the one where we can upload our content and get can get recognized there are so many uh, youtube content creators uh, who have gradually moved on to films have become directors who have made uh, short films and uploaded there there are singers who have uploaded their uh, music videos and independent music so i think tiktok is is in thing right now the flavor of season okay. i am not sure how how it's going to sustain for a longer period of time because Until and unless the TikTok is gonna reinvent it itself, it's just gonna fade out as a phase of this current generation. What happens? What people face problem with TikTok is they mostly upload upload a uh, cringe con- content. That's the issue with TikTok. See uh, that that I know about it. Uh, uh, to be very honest, I have seen those videos and I have laughed it out a lot. <laughs> so, but the cringe content is everywhere. but yes. what i what i understand is uh, the tiktok uh, content monitoring uh, uh, process seems very flawed because if you if you upload a cer- certain kind of uh, videos on other platforms like uh, like a facebook youtube or uh, yes um what say like instagram or twitter you yeah. know their so, bots or their people are like so like for example like how carry minute's video was Exactly removed. Yeah, exactly. removed. Yeah, removed. Yeah, so they are that proactive. In spite of that, that video is talking about their own platform. So which platform would do it? Because they stand very strongly on on the cer- certain ethics which they have. So I think that t- I believe that TikTok as an app, uh, their creators, not the content creators, but the people who have created TikTok or like the owners of TikTok, needs to amplify their uh, content monitoring. correct okay thank you so much for that debatable answer <laughs> now moving on to the next question uh, yes there are three main questions which i want to ask hmm hmm main puchta hu aap kahan the kahan ho aur kahan jana chahte ho kahan tha to main audience tha अभी 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 मेकर बन चुका हूँ और मुझे अभी व्हेन आई सी माय सेल्फ आफ्टर कपल ऑफ डेकेट्स डाउन द लाइन और जस्ट लाइक अ लाइक अ टेन इयर्स डाउन द लाइन आई सी आई सपोर्ट द फ्यूचर ऑफ मेकर्स दैट्स वेयर आई वांट टू गो ओके सो या इट्स लाइक 
it's like starting off as an audience and ending with like a supporting someone okay you want to stay in the gujarati film industry itself or you want to go beyond like to bollywood or something like that or a bigger platform than uh, bollywood also yes absolutely so the thing is what i have understood is uh, right now um, is like the stories are universal right so the language doesn't matter and it's a high time that even the people and the producers also understand that uh, for example uh, the biggest show on netflix right now is a spanish show yeah <laughs> money heist <laughs> correct Spanish. so how many of us have seen so many spanish films right yeah. i hardly any hardly any hardly. right so, but we are watching that spanish show like so fondly and really and it's so popular similarly like if you see the, the the spain as a country is as big as gujarat so if you make a really high uh, high concept a show in gujarat which has a universal appeal it will travel so it will but, it will do so i yeah, think the, yes <laughs> and this year we have seen like the, the the korean film is winning an oscar yeah exactly so so i think the language barrier is fading away and like down the line 8 10 years you will see that uh, more and more authentic regional content mm. uh, will emerge because see uh, the hollywood has as has sought to a uh, certain formulaic films uh, similarly with the bollywood films bollywood has uh, bollywood and hollywood both are like so master of a uh, certain sort of a uh, formulaic films which we also have seen in gujarati films to a certain extent or any other regional films but but once people are people will get bored of those formulaic films they will try to uh, seek an avenue to find interesting new fresh stories Mm. and in that search uh, people discover this kind of a thing like uh, the last last show i really loved was was a korean show uh, called the kingdom it's a it's a zombie show but it's a korean i watched entirely on uh, uh, with with subtitles a uh, second second show i watched was i just finished yesterday was into the night uh, it is a french show uh, though it's it's or it's available on netflix Uh, dubbed uh, into english but i saw it with the subtitle so it's everywhere like now people are developing an appetite to watch those shows uh, internationally see now because people don't have appetite to watch the yeah so yeah so now what is happening is now people like for example and like when we were kids we used to watch english films dubbed into hindi right yeah, but yeah. as we grew up as we grew up we started watching those films into authentic <laughs> english because we wanted to uh, feel very honest about it yes so yes. once once people will develop an appetite to watch uh, international content initially they will watch it into dubbed into english but later on believe me like from 10 years down the line we all going to watch international content with the subtitle we will be so used to about it yes yes i watched arjun reddy with the subtitles i don't know a language uh, i i think it was a tamil language uh, sorry tullu language I it was, is it is telugu telugu okay telugu telugu so i didn't understand a word of it <laughs> but i understood the film with subtitles on of course of okay. course of course like the believe me a uh, subtitle sub, uh, people who do subtitles going to get a lot of work <laughs> in your future okay because yeah. the subtitle writers uh, will have to be the writers because yes, they need yes. to understand the the context of yes. the entire situation rather than just translating yes yes i saw i saw many that um uh hmm like that kind of placebo effect so writing the film around placebo effect is like comment because placebo effect ke bare mein kisi ne suna nahi main mostly kisi ne nahi suna very few people know about it aur uske matlab wahan pe film end karna wo wo that is commendable job to aapko ye idea kahan se aaya ki made in china ka matlab basic idea kya tha jahan se jab hi matlab apne pehli baar socha ki aise film banani hai 
तो उसका बेसिक उसके पीछे का बेसिक आइडिया क्या था सो बेसिक आइडिया ये था कि एक्चुअली uh, ये आइडिया मेरा नहीं था uh, ये आइडिया था हमारी uh, जो ये राइटर है परिंदा जोशी उनका आइडिया था शी हैड रिटर्न दिस बुक विद द सेम नेम फॉर मेड इन चाइना बट इट वाज नॉट पब्लिश किया बट शी वाज शी हैड सीन रॉन्ग साइड राजू एंड शी हैज कॉन्टेक्टेड अस एंड हमारे जो डायरेक्टर निखिल वो उनको पहले से जानती थी एक दो बार मिल चुकी है बिकॉज शी हैज रिटर्न कपल ऑफ Uh, couple of books before made in china is her third book uh, so she just sent she sent like this one one pager just one story and we instantly got connected that this one guy so the in the in the book the book is based in surat was not based in ahmedabad okay so the so one the, line was this surti surti businessman travels to china and brings aphrodisiac and that aphrodisiac uh, in the end uh, turns out to be a placebo <laughs> okay okay uh then this this idea was very interesting because see uh, at that point of time uh, and this is talking about we got this idea in 2016 just after uh, wrong side raju was released and we were looking for a, a subject uh, to make our the next next film yes. at that time we were hearing a lot of stories a lot of su- uh, surti uh, diamond merchants and other business men so and uh, from also from gujarat uh there is lot of uh, business communities traveling to china for uh, uh you know partnerships and uh, for for import export businesses and there are zillions of uh, avenues where you can uh, conduct a business uh, with china so yes. we we thought that this this world is very interesting it is very unique to gujarat and uh, people haven't seen the china uh, like like uh, authentic china authentic. Uh, as of now <laughs> yeah and then uh, the idea was to uh, to also highlight uh, the sexual suppression in our society uh, yes. which we have we, we don't talk about it uh, so we, we thought that it's a good amalgamation of uh, uh, the subject and the character so we have we had a interesting uh, a story we had interesting character important message to tell so this three things uh, kind of attracted us towards this subject now coming back to the placebo initially placebo was just written like as if like uh, just like a, as a, as a as a suspense you know that because the entire film was at uh, the entire book and <clears throat> and the supposedly the initial drafts of the film was about uh, the secret ingredient yes. what are the secret ingredient and all that Uh, because everybody is looking for it was was there any those uh, like a tiger body part or not and now after this corona we know the chinese eat all things and everything you know like now it makes more sense and believable but it was true but when we heard about it it was very bizarre but it is actually true uh, there are the chinese uh, tiger penis soup is quite famous uh, bulls 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 testicle soup is very famous there is a cobra soup There's a cobra wine. So China is not a cobra. We can eat it. Yeah. yeah. So it's their culture. Basically, what happened was the entire uh, China. So I'll I'll give you a historic con- context rather than being uh, uh, judge Chinese people. The historic context was that uh, the Chinese people in ancient time had a lot of uh, scarcity of food. They have been torn into a lot of wars with Mongolian people. and same with the later on uh, in world war with japanese people so at that point of time uh, the food food was a scarcity so that's how they they ventured out into hunting animals and all those things Thank but you. since then all this mythic myth, myths have started uh, uh, so that that is that is the like the backdrop of the entire thing but uh, uh, after so coming back to the placebo point what was what was the idea was that then later on we met mahendra vatsa for uh, for this worthy characters research okay and we got to know that in india we don't even have a 0.1% sexologist as well okay because all the doctors uh, want to go into different different parts of the studies you know somebody wants to become a heart specialist or eye specialist or dentist but uh, sexologist is 
Yeah, yeah. Very few people want to go about it. And we met a lot of sexologists, believe me. We met almost 20 sexologists. And we got to know about some of the shocking things. Like, uh, if I'm a sexologist and you are my patient, uh, you will not even take my visiting card. You will also not save uh, my number on your phone. Uh, you will not even take prescription on my letterhead. And what, because yeah. people are ashamed to keep it. Yeah. Like if somebody finds out a sexologist visiting card from your pocket, your wife or your friend or something. Right. Or if you have, if you take a prescription from a sexologist and go to a medical shop, the medical shop guy will judge. So they will not take a prescription notepad. If, if you go like so, if my patient is very elite, like for example, a politician, which had happened to one of one of a sexologists we met, that one of the very big politician was uh, his his client or his patient, uh, to be precise. He refused to recognize him in a party <laughs> because then would somebody would have questioned, "How do you know him?" So people are really ashamed of their sexual problem that we got to know. So number one, we wanted to discuss that. Sanitary napkins are also sold uh, wrapped in papers, newspapers. So sexologists to both badi baat ho in literally. Yeah. So <laughs> that was the theme. And so Mahendra Vatsa says that there are a lot of people. Uh, so sexologists in general do not hold a similar respect which a, a, a heart surgeon yes. or cardiologist or like any other field of uh, like even like a like they have a uh, in their language well, the, the guy I would not name him at, that he says my Mary is the thing homeopathy doctor se bhi hai. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, is, uh, so for due to that particular reason uh, people don't uh, people don't uh, uh, kind of uh, opt out for this particular field in medical uh, like medical professionals don't opt out for this this stream. So yeah. we have very less number of sexologists. Now bec- because of that, what has happened? A lot of Jyotish, a lot of Babas, a lot of Quacks, who are sitting on the floor, who are selling children, who are selling people, who are selling people. So the market is very warm. Exactly. And we got to know about it that 70-80% of this kind of a people are selling placebo and people think that we are getting cured. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, then we asked what is the moral question about the same thing happened with Mahindra Vatsa. He says that and that, that line we kept it in the, uh, in the film which is my favorite line is that what is the problem in India? That we think about sex in the time of work and about sex in the time of work. In this case, the work is bigger than the work and the work is bigger than the work. Yes, yes. So that, was, that was the gist. Too, by the way. So that was, that, that was the gist. That was the... That was the... That was the gist. Sorry, somebody was calling me. Yeah, it's okay. So that... So that was that was the gist of the entire film. And then he said that in that particular case, when you have a very less number of sexologists, mm. if if a patient goes to even a quack and with that particular placebo, if he it is solving its problem, there is nothing wrong about it. He is saying that we don't have a exposure of a good sexologist in big cities like a Bombay, Ahmedabad or Delhi. Uh, think about the villages how they solve their problems okay. everybody is having a problem it's just they are not admitting but they need to solve it because because if you have a sexual problem and you suppress it then we also said in the film that uh, 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 you know it a person can turn violent uh, uh, abuse can happen uh, marital rapes uh, Sexual abuse, child abuse, divorce, those are the byproducts of sexual problems. Yes, yes. So, people, anyways, trying to find a solution without harming themselves or others is actually a good way. And we got to know that in India, 70% of the sexual problems are, are, are very psychological. Yeah, because of stress. 
lot of stress uh, and there is a lot of pressure uh, and there are certain things see i in future i will get a chance i would love to make a web series because there is a, that amount of content we have when we researched i think one of the reason that the film didn't live up to the expectation is we tried to say a lot of thing in a compact Um, time, time frame. Yes, time frame. Yeah. So, so that's why what I what I believe in that every film should work structurally, yeah. and that's why because we tried to jumble up on lot of thing into this two hour narrative, like be it Raghu's journey or that like a uh, investigation angle to it or the sexual angle to it, and the entrepreneur journey. so we try to t- touch upon couple of subjects in 2 hours and i think that was the the case that the film didn't live up to the expectation which people had but it was a brilliant film many i would say even at least 70% of the people i met they liked the film yeah yeah, yeah. like the film has they its merit to uh, enthusiasts <laughs> i'm not talking about uh, uh, any normal people i'm talking about movie enthusiast so 70% of them liked it very much actually yeah 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 but the thing is see the I, i'll tell you the idea is still we sex as a as a taboo is is is, is very uh it's very prominent so that's why um, films like badaiyo work because they t- touch upon a very surface level though the, they yeah. touch upon a very deep problem but they don't tell you the the problems on your face it doesn't make you uncomfortable yeah what we we did in made in china that that some of the things actually made audience very uncomfortable yes yes <laughs> that's true so and same problem was with the padman like if you see padman is the yeah. lo- lowest grossing film of akshay kumar in last 5 years last 5 years yes because because the problem is still uh, in india these things exist as a taboo and people people are not very comfortable talking about okay, it okay, yes. but but one step at a time like films like a uh, both one and two shubh mangal saudan and like badai ho or wiki donor i uh, have done a brilliant job uh, we set out to do something in similar lines but somehow uh, it didn't connect somehow okay. my my doubt was why didn't you cast Aishman Gurana and Y Rajkumar Rao. Though both are my favorite actors, but on so this, the idea was, kind of I'll, I'll tell you this is I, I'm I'm spilling yeah. this beans. Uh, I haven't told anyone. I think you're the first one, and if this is going on YouTube, this is the first one. Uh, the thing was, while we were writing, we always thought that this character should be played somebody like Irfan. Okay. But. when we pitched it to madoc uh, uh it was our producer's idea dinesh vijan's idea that uh, rajkumar rao would be the perfect for this and uh, later on even we agree that nobody could have done justice to this this particular role except this now why not ayushman khurana was that uh, अगर आयुष्मान के पास जाते तो बोलते क्या क्या तुम सेम चीज लेके आए हमारे पास अनदर लाइक आयुष्मानिकल अबाउट दिस थिंग पीपल से कोई भी मेन्स प्रॉब्लम का कोई मूवी बन रहा है तो there must be ayushman khurana in it ha uh-huh. so idea was that plus the rajkumar rao has a certain kind of uh, uh, you know innocence and honesty on his face ayushman has it but uh, uh, rajkumar has a little more like plus is i think i cannot imagine uh, raghu being anybody else If you like this video please give a thumbs up and share more and more and please subscribe to amateur director for such content I hope you like this video and uh, you have to wait for part 2 so agle sunday ko mast na do kya ho theek hai
पार्ट टू के लिए नेक्स्ट संडे आई एम गोइंग टू आस्क इन क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग राइटिंग पार्ट एंड द क्वेश्चन विच विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर अस्पायरिंग राइटर्स हाउ टू अप्रोच प्रोड्यूसर्स विथ योर स्क्रिप्ट एंड ऑल सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड वेट टिल संडे